Welcome back to another episode of Just One Fern. It's Lucas and I here to do a whole lot of talking about a whole lot of nothing. And it's a heat wave in Nashville, Lucas. Is it's it? It's 100 degrees all week. Um, I've been dying. I've been swimming in sweat. Um, I had a doubleheader soccer game on Tuesday. I've never been so wet oh God. in my life. Never been so wet. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was insane. I fell, embarrassingly, tripped, uh, scraped my knee a little bit. Um, oh, no. But that's but- okay. Did you rub some dirt in it? I rubbed some they, dirt in it, and I rubbed some do. dirt in, in my stash. Dude, I, I it's think it's still in there. Um, yeah, it's a little dirty. It's a little bit of a... It's, it's very dirty. A dirty yeah, stash. That's a, it looks like you have peach fuzz, and you took mascara mm-hmm. and just colored in the hairs that are already there. You know what, Lucas? Very rude of you, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, because... Um, but here's the thing. Lucas, you even said this before we started. Uh, everyone has been asking me, Oh, so you saw Top Gun? You saw Top Gun, that's why you have the mustache that, now? That was my which first is a thought. craze, which is a craze right now. Everyone's having the mustache. But actually, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen, like, clips of, obviously, of Miles Teller with the stash and everyone, like, loving Miles Teller. Which, I mean, I do love Miles Teller. He's great. Um, but I tried the stash before. It didn't work out. But this has given me new confidence. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Why? And I think it's because I've changed my hairstyle a little bit. So the hairstyle with the mustache looks better than when I was like here with the mustache. Yeah, you know what? I look I'll older now. I look a little bit older when I put my hair up as to when it's down. When it's mm-hmm. down, I look like I'm, you know, in a teen drama. When it's up, I look like I'm in a 1970s porno. A little bit. You look closer. You look like you're a 30 year old. Mm-hmm. Who he's still going. I, I I'm I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. No, I think I like the mustache, honestly, and I'm glad it's coming back. Cause I have a hard time growing stuff here, right? But and I think this is the problem. When I did it earlier, I didn't give it enough time to grow. You didn't. It you actually this is pretty full now. Like it's getting fuller and it's it's growing. It's growing on me. It's growing on every it's growing in the hearts <laughs> of everyone. Across the nation. <laughs> it's growing Everyone's like a chia forward. pet that you water on your lip. It's growing you like know? a dinosaur that you throw in the sink, one of those toys you get from the dollar store. And then it and expands. It's, and then and you wake you, up in the morning and it is disgusting. It looks like a it, fetus in the shower. It is piece. it's not good. It's pretty disappointing. It's the that's worst what, thing. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, Aaron, it's My your face? best mustache yet. I'll take it. You know what? I'm that's not like, saying that means a lot, but it is definitely your best. No, yet. it means a lot to me, though. Good. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you're you. very welcome for me saying that to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so let's get into some stuff here, Lucas. First off, uh, I know we have a lot to talk about because you went on a road little trip, trip, a little road trip, uh, and you also went to a huge concert, which we'll get right into. However, yes, I, did. I need to talk about a concert that ruined my life. Which concert? Didn't ruin my life, but it ruined my day. Who'd you see? I didn't see anyone, and this is why it ruined my day. So this weekend, this past weekend, I guess it was the whole week, um, was CMA Fest in Nashville. Country Music Awards Festival. Mm. So every country artist on the face of the earth was here. Um, And there were stages just everywhere. In the, in the roads, they were blocking off roads. They were having, like, performances at the stadiums. They were having performances um, by the lake, by the water, on the river. Um, okay. Just everywhere. Um, and BMI is basically... BMI's building here, for those who don't know, BMI Performance Rights Organization, they have a building that looks just like the Avengers building. It's crazy. It's, like, the most... Oh, yeah, you always tell me about that. Because I walk by it, like, every day I go to work. It's crazy. Um, so they had a concert in their, um, like parking lot outside mm -hmm. of their building and it was Luke Combs. That's big. This was a $10 concert. Oh God. You got to pay $10 and you got to go see Luke Combs. Thousands of people. I mean, the streets packed. Now, now remember what I just said two seconds ago, my bar that I work at is right across the street. Yeah. So we're in there. We close at 10, right? Every Wednesday. We, this is on a Wednesday. We close at 10. Yep. The show starts at 7. So I get to work around 6. I, I come from my other job. I knew that this was going to be happening. It took me forever to find parking. Um, and it was just wall-to-wall people in the streets. It was nuts. It was crazy. 
So then I get into work and I'm talking with my boss and I'm like, that's going to go past 10, right? There's no way this is going to get out before 10. Like we'll be closed. And he's like, I think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they're probably gonna have a few openers and then he's going to go on and it'll be, it'll go at least past 10. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. There were no openers. What? And he played nine songs. Weird. He played his nine number one hits that he either performed or wrote. And, uh, and that was the show. And he left. And he left. And I guess it makes sense why it was $10. Um, yeah, I guess that's worth $10. And so everyone leaves the concert. And I'm like standing on our porch, like help. There's already a lot of people in our bar. I'm like helping people. And I see just, it was like I was in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I just see the crowd rushing towards us. And I just, I was like, strap in, folks. It's about to get rough. <laughs> And we were oh, so there for a long time. It everyone came to the bar. Everyone I bet it came got to the fucking bar. Packed. It got crazy. It got packed. It was like the line, at, the line went out the door and curved inside. It like became two lines at one point. <laughs> and we had to shut down the kitchen because we had two guys working in the kitchen. So we were like, we can't, we can't sell food right now. And the concert ran out of food. Oh. And so everyone was hungry. And we were like, listen, if you order now, you're not going to get your food for like two hours. It's just not going right. to happen because there's two guys working in the kitchen. We, yeah. we don't have anyone else here. Sorry about it. And so everyone was fucking pissed. I was like, we can still get drinks or go somewhere else. It's totally yeah. fine. Um, yeah. Luke Combs uh, ruined my night because it was, it was difficult. You know, hard time. fuck Luke Combs fuck Luke for what Combs. he did. Fuck him. So wait, you made it sound His like you- ice cold beer broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. And y- while you handed out your own right ice cold beers, right, and my heart was breaking. Now, Aaron, you made it sound like you had tickets to see him. I didn't. Okay, so you you weren't out the ten dollars, just the emotional damage of it having was just emotional a damage. People. Yeah, I mean, there was just so many people there this weekend in general. Like it was crazy. The amount of stages that were were around. Ah, too much. Did you go to anything? Nope. Really? Yeah. Well, I worked the whole weekend, um, and I helped my friends move on Saturday. So I had no time to go do anything. But you know what? I heard a lot of people got COVID, so uh, I'm okay. Yeah. Well, you didn't get COVID. Ha- Aaron, have you had COVID yet? No. Knock on wood. Bitch. You're a bitch for <laughs> not having COVID. Bitch. I'm a little bitch for not having COVID. I should have it. Damn it. Dude, anybody who's cool has had COVID already. Right, that's a fact. No, that's true. So I'm sorry to let you know. No, that's a fact. <laughs> sorry to let you know. Um, You're go get cool. it. Go You're get not cool. COVID. Dude, you know, you know COVID's cool because Trump has had COVID. That's how you know it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything that's cool, you know. It's like, you, you haven't had COVID? You're fucking dumb. Dude, I am... I'm, Surprised and aghast that you didn't go to any any of the country music awards. I didn't go like to any music. Any well, I mean, I guess I guess you're used to it though. Like you have, there's music going on all the time. There was no one that I was like, oh, I need to go see them. Um, but my coworker did actually work um the Spotify event, which was cool. Oh, she was that's like cool. Doing, she was like hired to do photos for them, which is cool. Um, but it was just it was it was very strange and. The ones, the shows that I would have wanted to go to would have been like the Ryman or like the big show at the end at Nissan Stadium or something. Like I, the, the ones in the streets, like I don't want to pay $10 to go to this show and then listen to nine songs and leave. Like that sucks. You know, that kind of sucks. I mean, what else are you doing? Working. Yeah. You'd rather make money. If right. I if I was I not you working, a, I would have gone. Oh, okay. I bet you sure. made a shit ton in tips, right? We made we made yeah, we made it. It was pretty good. I'm not gonna Aaron I'm not gonna can now buy new underwear after he swept yes. through his old ones. Yeah, I did. With the money he made. Wow. <laughs> it was yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it's like the Nile River down there. Um but you ever sweat so much like you just have to wipe? Yeah, Lucas, I I had a double header soccer game in a hundred degree heat. <laughs> it was so bad. My 
teammate changed shorts three times. Oh my God. Three pairs of shorts. How did he know to bring three pairs? Because he knew he would sweat his ass off. No, that means he wore a pair and brought three. Correct. That is nuts. Mm -hmm. I would bring maybe an extra pair. Maybe. Nope. He brought three. And he kept being like, (laughs) pair of shorts number two. Here we go. Pair (laughs) of shorts number three. That had to be the stinkiest, like, fucking gym bag. Yeah, I mean, it was. I got into my car and I was like, I smell disgusting. But it was sad. We lost the. Well, we won the first game and then we lost the championship. Oh, what? You're playing for the championship? Yeah. So, well, we had two weeks ago, we had round one and then we had round two that we won last night. And then Mm -hmm. it was like, you win, you play the championship. So we won. Oh, we played in the championship. Was it close? Uh, We lost four to two. It should have been so three not, to two. The last goal was kind of shouldn't have been BS. But, um, but yeah, it was fine. I mean, we were dead. We had to play a game before oh, it, and the other yeah. team had like Didn't? an hour break bef- between their game and our game. So, oh well, that's not fair. It's unfair. That's just not fair. It's just not fair. I didn't have time to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is fair because you were extra looped up in those ass cheeks. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I was you could so glide much. across I, that field. I couldn't breathe. It was so you could uh. see the air. The air was vis- it was so humid. You could see what what the, the fuck? Air. You, what do you mean? You mean like clouds or like mirages? You could no. You could see everything. You could see that the ghosts of, of ghosts present, <laughs> past there. and future. They were all there. You could see everything. Um, but it was Michael it was, Jackson was there. It's ungodly hot. In ghost form. Week. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it is very hot. Uh, I feel like, I feel like somebody died recently, mm-hmm. and I don't know who. Well, always, every day, someone dies. No, mm-hmm. somebody dies every day. Mm-hmm. Well, that can't be good. Well, someone's born every day. Who? <laughs> who? <laughs> who's born? <laughs> who? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Probably someone named someone with the middle name James. Def- <laughs> probably right you're probably not wrong about that Mm -hmm. can i tell you something about somebody with the middle name james me is your middle name james yeah you didn't know that aaron james fern Mm -hmm. that's kind of a good it's a good middle name it's a good middle name i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna call this i didn't know i was on a podcast with a jimmy (laughs) i'm start calling you i'm gonna call you jimmy no you're 100 no you're not yes what's your middle name Jimbo, Jimbo, hey Jimbo! Wait, I just one first. We actually called uh, my friend James in in high school. We called him Jimbo. Did you? Time. Yeah, he hated it. Well, you should. We it's, ru- say- it's rough, <laughs> and we would say it like, "Cause have you ever seen the Pink Panther?" Nope. Okay. Well, Steve Martin he goes. He says Jimbo, Jimbo uh, <laughs> a lot. So we would say Jimbo. That's funny. Mm-hmm. So. uh Jimbo mm-hmm. is Aaron's name from now. Is Aaron's name? Nope. Um, I stand for a lot of things. I will not stand for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would like to announce, um, to remind everybody in the audience that Aaron mm-hmm. will be visiting soon. I will be. And if you want to see us do anything together mm-hmm. that is uh, consensual, <laughs> um, go ahead and put it in the comments. Please. Yes, please. We will do it. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and I mean that consensual things. We won't do it though. We won't. We just won't do it. Yeah. Comments, are comments are comments are comments are help. Well, that when you will see us. That this is. I've been told by our uh, PR agent mm-hmm. um, Gen- that Gen- we Gen- need Gen- more audience engagement. So mm-hmm. let us know what you want to see, and we will do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid don't, to ask. Don't be afraid. Just be scared. Just be nervous. We yeah. will ridicule you. That's, yeah, that's um, fair. You'll but we'll do it publicly outed. Um, so please do that. Cool. Uh, now's a good time mm-hmm. uh, to remind you we have merch. We have great merch. We have really good we merch. Have a shirt. We got a mug. We have a shirt. We got a mug. I'm actually really pissed off about my mug right now. Why did, you, did it break? It could have fucking broke. What did you do? Did it move on its <laughs> what, own? What did I do? What did I? Yeah, because you usually do something. Aaron, as you know, I've been living with Maxwell Kaczynski. I know him. Maxwell James Kaczynski. Yes, and he loves a he loves a good mug. He loves a good mug. Um, he he brought my he brought my just one fern mug mm-hmm. to work today. No open mug in the car. 
We talked about this on the pod before. I hate that he does that. He is an open mug guy. He's an open mug driver. He <laughs> yeah. drives to work. <laughs> With an open, he would drive to class every with a day cup full of coffee. A, just shake. It. Yeah. No, no, hold it. It'll go. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's I love him How for it. I love him for it. I don't know. And he he defends it tooth and nail. I, I don't blame him. But what, what grinds my gears is he went ahead and used my mug yeah. on our on just one fern day for on me. Just one fern day, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, use my mug. Mm-hmm. But on the day I on the day of my daughter's wedding, right? You're when I need when thing. I need to give a little, you know, right? How are you supposed to the audience? To sip without how that I, mug? How am I supposed to advertise mm-hmm. my my own vanity without That's this mug? Correct. Yeah. You need so, it. It's impossible to do vanity without the mug. So everyone he, knows step one of vanity is mug. <laughs> mug in any term, to vanity in, a, in any term. It could be mug the cup. It could be mug the beating up. What? It could be getting mugged. It's it could any, be either way. It could it could be mug mug root beer. It could. To vanity, All you know what? The, <laughs> I um I made him feel bad about it, and to the point where he washed it for, for me. Um, and I was like, you don't have to, I was just fucking. No, he should he, have. And he did wash it. He, he washed my have. mug. I'm excited to see Max. I'm excited to see you as well, but I'm excited to see Max too. All right. I haven't seen Max <laughs> since COVID hit. Jesus. I think. You got, you guys no, I saw good. him the day before I drove down to Nashville because I stopped at their house in Fredonia. Oh, right. That's so you will see him Max. for one day. Yep. And then he'll do the same thing. Mm-hmm. He'll leave. Because he's Just fake, good. fake guy, fake Max, <laughs> whatever. Um, so tell me about your uh, road trip and concert. Whichever one you want to do first. Take, go ahead. I'll start with the whatever, concert. Whatever you're feeling. I'm gonna oh, go in. Okay, cr- I'm gonna go in chronological order. Yeah, yeah, concert. Oh, yeah, yeah. So last last weekend, mm-hmm. the weekend before last weekend, mm-hmm. before that one. That, but after I'm doing it, doing the math in my head, I can't do it. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm doing the um, math. So I'm trying to do the math. I taught, I was taught math in grade school. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> I was taught math. I'm gonna do math. I was, I was forced to learn math. I'm gonna do it, and you can't fucking stop me. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. I'm gonna do my math. Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Jesus tell your story. Christ. Um. So yeah, I went to see Paul McCartney, which is crazy. In Paul McCartney, Syracuse. the Carrier Dome, the Carrier Dome, Dome, Dome. And Syracuse it's just not the Carrier Dome anymore. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's not. No, it just got like another company is. I don't. Who cares? It's the Carrier Dome. Fuck it. The Citrus Maxima Dome makes me. That'd be awesome. I'd call that'd it that. Cool. I'm not gonna call it anything else. Thank you. Um, so this is where the New York Mets play, mm-hmm. and um, uh, I'm glad you didn't correct me on that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because it was so dumb, I was just gonna let you. Go. <laughs> um, this is where the, <laughs> where the New, New York, York Mets, Mets play. farm team plays in Syracuse, though. Fun fact: the, Sy- the Syracuse Mets. That is true. That is true. I can't believe they're called the Mets, also. which is crazy. Very upset. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a big arena, and I saw Paul McCartney there. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Paul McCartney is like my all-time favorite artist, mm-hmm. songwriter, and also uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Paul McCartney, uh, he was in a band called the Beatles. Um, and then he had oh. a solo career. He died is for that a minute, who? and then he had a solo career. Um, Beatles. Is that the band he was in before Wings? Nope. Nope. Yep. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. It's yeah. good to, they're not very well known. They're no, pretty, under, they're pretty not, underground. No, I think they had one song. I know two. I think they had two. They had one about a dog, um, but that's about it. Yep, one about a dog. And then the other one was Sweet Child of Mine. Believe. Yeah, that's Beatles. Yeah. Ringo sang that. I just yeah, he sang it. Um, so this man, by the way, is ancient. <laughs> he is eighty years old. He he walked onto his stage and his eyes were sunken into his head. <laughs> like I was like, uh, he's gonna disintegrate. He's right in, uh, in right in front of me. He <laughs> walking into the Carrier Dome was like walking into Paul McCartney's tomb. You're yeah, like, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I like I I swear to God he was gonna be like I don't Tony I don't 
uh, Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. And just <laughs> just immediately like like evaporate into the air. <laughs> I was pretty sure that was going to happen. Um, but he sang and mm-hmm. he danced like an old man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every time I see an old person Let's like be honest, that. He's always danced like an old man. He is. He he was an old man when he was right. 19. Right. Um, every time I see an old person like that and they're like dressed up and like trying to look like, I don't know, not old as fuck. Right. I just, I imagine what their naked body looks like underneath, like all of those clothes. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you can't fool can't me. Good. You got liver spots and you're fucking shaking under there. All right. I know what's going on. You're putting on a front. <laughs> And it, your your skin's saggy and frail. You can see all the fucking veins in your legs, dude. I, I know what's going on, Paul. Don't fuck with me. All right. You dress up as much as you want. I know I know what's going on. Not fooling me, Paul. You're not <laughs> fooling me. I, I don't know, know you're a speckled bullfrog under there. I know you are. I'm so ageist. I will I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm extremely ageist. And I, I don't know why it, it, it infuriates people. me when old people don't dress like they're old. Cause I'm, cause I'm you're like not young. You're not hip. Don't, tr- don't try. You have, you are hip. You're probably on your third hip at this point. <laughs> all right. So don't, don't try and mm-hmm. I, don't, don't try to do this. Thing. I, either way. I was happy to see Paul. I love Paul, uh, but he great. was a, he was a grandfather. He was a grandfather. That's crazy. Um, and he sang all the high notes. That's good. The, but he hid them with lots of vibrato. Mm. So he would go, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it, that was perfect. That was so good. He would hide him with a vibrato. Yeah. He'd hide him with lots of vibrato. And honestly, he only played amazing songs. That's and cool. the more he played, the more you realize how amazing, like insignificant he is as a songwriter. Mm. Yeah. It's like, wow, that was him. That was him. Yeah. That was him. Did you, did you do a Michael going. Jackson song? No, oh, nope. Sad. No, nope. he did, however, have Johnny Depp <laughs> featured in one of his songs. No way. Like he didn't come out, but like he had a video where Johnny Depp did sign language of the words of his song. And me and Max are convinced just nobody told him. Like he's just so <laughs> old. Like <laughs> we're like, yeah, he probably just doesn't know. But like we're like, should we tell Paul? Should, no let's just let knows. it go. There's no way that he knows. <laughs> There's that's zero it. chance. Paul Paul's in the know of what's going on. Oh, Paul. Um, that's hilarious. So, and then Johnny Depp played the guitar solo, like, <laughs> with him. Like, like pseudo, you know, like the video. That's of the him. worst. No, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> I, I hate that. Um, so that happened. Uh, he played Live and Let Die. Nice. I and it was nuts. B- believe it or not, when the orchestra kicked in, insane pyrotechnics like i'm talking gigantic explosion the whole crowd shuddered <laughs> he shuddered <laughs> then then this wind starts blowing in his face and like his hair's going wild he's holding on to the piano for dear life like it's about to blow him away they were like fire what? up to the ceiling dude it blew out pixels in the fucking screens on either side i'm talking like literally like no an eight way. by eight chunk of this left screen just kept going like instead of it playing video it went green blue red green like they couldn't get a hold of it there's so much i could Holy feel the heat shit. i was in the nosebleeds wow they were like how can we get him in a real james bond movie yeah like how do we make him feel like he's james bond before That's he disintegrates. Insane. Before he disintegrates. But they, they, I'm shocked he didn't. I feel like if Honestly. He get, if he goes out into like any temperature above 85 degrees, he'll melt. He'll melt immediately. <laughs> he would not have survived be your careful. soccer game. No, he wouldn't. No way. He wouldn't have survived just spectating. No. No, no way. way. Nope. Um, wow. So that was cool. That's they had, a, they had um, a little bit where they... Peter Jackson soloed some of the audio from the rooftop concert. Oh, that's awesome. And he like sang a duet with John again as an old man. Young John and old man Paul. It was kind of nice. It's kind of sweet. That's so nice. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's so like heartwarming. Yeah. That's amazing. So you got a little bit, a little, little touch of the Beatles. Well, did you cry? I wanted to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you didn't. I want, we, so he you has know, this. Oh, I know why you didn't cry. Why? Cassie probably looked at you and said, "Don't you fucking cry." 
<laughs> I will not respect you. I will break up with you. I will break up with you. You show any sign of weakness. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Um, but I will say one of his songs I don't like that much, mm-hmm. which is a really like sweet song. Um, is is called Here Today. It's about John after he passed away, mm-hmm. and he played it like as an old man. The band went away. It was just him. And they like put him up on the stage and like it was heartbreaking. Yeah. Like I the recording of the song I'm not a huge fan of, but that live performance it, yeah. it was really moving. I'm gonna be cool. honest. There's something man, and I just live music in general, man. It's just the best. Like there's a re like it's weird that it, it's so different from recorded music. I don't know why. Yeah. But there's some sort of, there's some connection you feel, yeah. you know. Right. It's like something about the moment. It's the best. But that sounds like such a cool show. I wish I could have gone so bad. Um, you got pissed off too. I was you're in a bad. Angry. You're in a bad mood. I, I te- everybody. I texted Aaron. I was mm-hmm. like, "Hey, guess where the fuck I am?" Like just like showing off a little bit, you know, being a bit flashy, being a bit like, giving a little bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, He's flashing me. <laughs> visibly, <laughs> visibly. <laughs> um, and. Uh, Aaron was like, oh, I think that's the carrier down. Cool. Nice. I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I kind of want it would be nice if I was there. <laughs> Is that why you're upset? That. Was no, something was going upset. on? I don't remember. What day was that? It was like a I might have just been I might just Saturday. Been overworked and dead. And so I was like, God damn it, I should I wish I was at the carrier down. Yeah. Anyway. It was a Saturday. No, I was fine. I was fine. No, he no, I'm okay. No, it's fine, guys. Don't worry. Uh, speaking of the Beatles, though, real quick. Yep. Uh, I rediscovered a song recently that I've been playing on repeat. And I don't know if you like this song or not, but I love it. What is Life by George Harrison. That's a great song. It's so good, and it's so goddamn catchy. It is a great song. Oh. Um, by the way, I have... So that song is really good. Mm-hmm. The, I think there's a lot... There's a very specific live version I think is better. Because I just don't like the mix on that okay. song, personally. It is his... His voice is so quiet. It's so quiet. The guitar is quiet. It's just super like, muddy. I want that chorus to be just fucking booming. Huge. With vocals. Yeah. And it's not. Um, there's a concert they played live for Bangladesh. The concert for Bangladesh. It was like right after the album came out. They played that song. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's my favorite version of that song. But you're right. That, cool. this, it's a really well-written song. And I got the name. You. Oh, that's so good. What is my life? That's, that That's George good. Harrison. That was really good, George Harrison. You did a great Paul. You did a great George. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a good John. Yeah. Honestly, thank I it's so sad John died. Uh, but thank God we don't have to see him like we're seeing Paul now. Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always have a good image of John. That's true. We'll always have young John. By the way, my I dad, my dad said the best line in like one. I think it was our last podcast mm-hmm. uh, was that John Lennon has a very shootable face. You said that. <laughs> you said that John. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> he liked it. Did he like? Yeah, it? he loved that. And he's a huge fan. <laughs> I was worried. It's <laughs> a great line. <laughs> I uh, I was. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't post it. I mean, obviously, it's in the episode, but I didn't post a clip of it because I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to know that I said that. <laughs> Very shootable. That was fun. Very shootable. Very shootable face. Um, but what was this road trip like? You were in a car with Cassie? Oh, my God. Yeah. Cassie doesn't like to drive, so I drove oh. most of the way. Um, so, basically, here I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Albany. Okay. To Niagara Falls. Yikes. <laughs> to Fredonia. I saw that. You said you're yikes a little too soon. Yep. Um, to Cleveland. Okay. I love Cleveland. I'm not going to lie. I, I, love, I really love Cleveland. I think Cleveland's I great. really like Cleveland. Every really time like I've Cleveland. been to Cleveland, I've had a good time. So, yeah. It was probably my favorite day of the trip. Uh, to the Indiana Dunes National Park. Oh. Which is kind of cool. I'm like Erie. Mm-hmm. Like, like Michigan. Sorry. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. To um, Chicago. Mm-hmm. To the Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania. Wow. And back home. That's really cool. nice. Nice little little Rust Belt trip, you know? <laughs> yeah, it is the Rust Belt. Um, so you said Cleveland was your favorite part. 
Yeah. You went to a baseball game. Did you go to the Hall of Fame? Yeah, we did. Nice. nice. Um, and it felt like they were waiting for me to come. They, had a, they specifically had a Beatles exhibit because of the documentary. Oh, that's cool. Like, it was a lot. There was a huge Beatles exhibit. And there's, wow. like, spe- specific clips that wasn't in the documentary that they put in the museum for you to watch. Oh, cool. That's and they had extra, like, stuff. They had John Lennon's glasses and, like... That's um, cool. They had, like, three of the guitars. They had three of the instruments that they used on that roof- rooftop concert. Oh, um, shit. Cassie had to come pull me away. She was like, you've been, you've been staring at these for 15 minutes. Like, get old, get old, we got to go. She, <laughs> she doesn't allow you to be you. Okay. <laughs> I just want that out there. Yeah. Um, and you do. And I you do. do. I really do. Okay. <laughs> I never bring you down ever. <laughs> <laughs> you've never, ever never, brought me down. Never once. <laughs> Have I ever said you do anything wrong? Um, I, man, Cleveland is so great, though. I, I've been there twice. Uh. Both times for two different concerts. So I saw mm-hmm. Justin Timberlake there. Cool. And I saw Fall Out Boy there. Um, Interesting. I didn't know you liked Fall Out, Fall Out Boy. Yeah. I re- well, I really liked them in co- like earlier in college. They were great. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not as big of a fan now, but um, they were really, really good at that time. So I went mm. to their concert, um, and that night, I got this pizza. And I just ordered it from DoorDash. Just ordered yep. a, a random pizza. To this day, I still don't remember what the pizza place was called. I like can't for some reason I can't remember it. It was probably the best pizza I've ever had. Really? And I cannot remember it, and I'm furious because <laughs> the sauce was unbelievable. The sweet spicy ratio of the sauce oh. was so perfect. I've never had a sauce so- like interesting on a pizza like that. It was crazy. Honestly, if you do your sauce right, if you like land in between that sweet and like spicy sauce, yeah. like. Super Italian mixed with like a little bit of that, a little bit of sugar. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you're in for a good time. It was great you're in for a really good time. It was so good. And it like, the crust was good. Everything was, it was a great pizza. Yeah. And it, and it like, wasn't that it was just like, I was late at night and I was hungry. Like it was, it was very good. Um, I, I, Aaron, I have a, I have a hot take for someone who's about to move to New York. Go ahead. I love okay. deep dish pizza. Yeah. Let's I go. love it. I love this take because recently in the news, people have been very out on deep dish pizza. Really? Yeah. People are like not about it. I love a good deep dish pizza. Oh my God. Aaron, it blew me away. It's the best. Uh, I, well, I, it may not be the best. It's not the best, but it's really good. Do you think, is it your favorite? No, I would, I, say, I would no, get it. I favorite. would understand. It's not my favorite, but it's really good. It's really fucking good. It's like, it's like they're like, oh yeah, this pizza, like pizza's good, but let's just let's make more of the best parts. Right. Let's add more cheese. More let's cheese. make the crust taste like a pie crust. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, and let's make the sauce like really good too. Mm-hmm. It ju- it just seems like it just feels like ultra pizza. Yes, yes. It's like mega pizza. Yeah. You know? Mega pizza. Yes. <laughs> mega pizza. Mega pizza. Yeah. I he fell know. into a vat of liquid nitrogen. If I want, like, <laughs> came out <laughs> the villainous mega pizza. Like, obviously, when I'm in the mood for pizza, it's usually not deep dish. Oh, yeah. But, like, if I, if someone was to, like, show up to a party with a deep dish pizza, or, like, I go to a restaurant and I get deep dish pizza, like, served to me, like, they bring it out and everything. Oh, so goddamn good. I'm going to eat it every time, and I'm going to love it. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to love it. Where's my thin crust? <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not in New York right now, so I don't yeah. care. Ca- Dude, Cassie had a really good take on it. Um, and oh. I could be misquoting her, so sorry, Cassie, if I'm misquoting you. I'm pretty sure she said she likes it better than New York-style pizza. Really? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I, could be I love this. Yes. She said it. Everyone, <laughs> okay, she said, it, she said, sure. it. she said it. She said it. She said that Chicago is better than New York. Um, <laughs> you can quote her on this everything i want everyone to know that okay and here was but she was like it is better but i wouldn't want it nearly as often as i want new york pizza you can't have it often mm, i like that, that. that so I like that's that the take. take so it's the take is like it's better but only if you have it very sparingly right if like if you're having it as often it is a worse it's an inferior pizza but like as a treat or as like 
you know, a couple times a year, it it it's like it hits the spot. It has a higher high, you know. Right, right. Oh, Which I, you know, what I can, I almost, I think I might agree with that. No, I, I definitely agree with it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. So I was pretty impressed. Um, That's good. I, we, I went to a place. Uh, if you're, if you are, <laughs> to all of our Chicago fans out there, if you're in Chicago. Um, if you're in Chicago, uh, I went to Giord- Giordano's Pizza. Uh, that's where I got my deep Did you dish. Go to a place called Giordano's. Yeah, I went to high school with a kid named Giordano. Uh, and we, we had make fun of him about pizza. Were you really? Yeah. Why? I think it was just because he was. You just knew. <laughs> it was funny. I can one up you. Yeah, go ahead. I had a band teacher in Whoa. high school. I uh, his name was Giordano, mm-hmm. and he got fired for pedophilia. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I don't think you are. <laughs> I don't think that you are kidding. Uh-oh. Yikes. Yeah. Well, he was really creepy. He was uh, really that creepy. That makes sense. He shook my hand the first day I had class with him, and it was limp. Uh, limp and wet and covered in chalk. It was weird. <laughs> it was like what yellow chalk. I was like, was chalk. like, that's a red flag. Yep. Right there. Yeah, that is a red your flag. Your hands are covered in <laughs> chalk. Red flag. Uh, Why are your hands covered in chalk? Just wash them, dude. <laughs> Like it's this is first period. Like you haven't had a chance to like be teaching with chalk. Like I don't get what's going. Were you just climbing? Did you come back from rock climbing? No, he's a, he was a weird dude. Fuck you, Giordano. Um, um, he 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 was once quoted as saying, "Nobody asked him this, by the way." Mm-hmm. But in the middle of a class, he said, "By the way, don't record my lectures. I will fail you." And then continued on as if nothing happened, as if we want to record his lectures. Right. Right. This was a crazy. It was a crazy. That's. What, I mean, that's what Stuart Shapiro used to do. Yeah, but he wasn't crazy about it. He right. was just like, "Hey, so, by the way, mm-hmm. you know, I will. I'll suit you, suit you. <laughs> and, and I'll, I'll win, win. <laughs> and I'll win." <laughs> I love that we, that was we know time. exactly what it was, <laughs> and I'll win, and I'll win. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. But I'm glad you had a good time on your trip. That's yeah, good, really nice. That sounds like a nice little, you know, getaway. Um, Me and Cassie bonded. There was. The last thing I'll I'll mention is me and Cassie took the next step in our relationship in a way. Um, I I had to poop really badly at one point. Like here we go. I was like, this you're could only for the be poop bad. Story. I said this could only be um, bad because it wasn't. I knew it wasn't anything else that could be possibly good. So <laughs> she was very patient with me. Um, she did not have to be as patient as she was with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were walking back from getting that pizza. We went out to get it. And brother, <laughs> brother, I I had to get to that toilet like like I like I'm the <laughs> I'm the third monkey on Noah's Ark and it's starting <laughs> to rain. All right. Where I gotta the- get there. I gotta get to the fucking toilet. <laughs> Where was like your to-go Pepto? Where's something that like to Dude, shut you I, down real quick. We had used it already at this point. It was gone. I'd already, <laughs> You're right. I needed I'd already had my daily bottle of Pepto. <laughs> You're not allowed to have more than that. So I, 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 we, I was, I wasn't running, but I was, I was <laughs> fast. My butt was Shimmy. a <laughs> fart, 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 fart. I, I was walk. Cassie was 30, 30 feet behind me. You're crop uh, dusting her. Yeah. She was caught in the tailwind. She was crop. I was. I felt bad, but I'm like, I gotta go. Chicago's a big town, dude. I, I gotta at least gotten thirty thousand steps in just from trying to shit. I, I'm telling you right now. And she caught up to me. She's like, Do you want to run? And I'm like, It'll fall out. <laughs> <laughs> it will fall out. <laughs> and, and and then it's she, hedgehogging. Her, it's hedgehogging. <laughs> go go go. She tried to catch up with. She did catch up with me for a second. And she wasn't looking. She wasn't looking for like half a second, yeah. and she almost ran. It. I went, "Whoa!" And I, I slammed my hand. I slammed my hand into her chest, like because I thought she was gonna hit this guy. Yeah. And, and she, that was the wrong move. <laughs> I, I hit her too. Choice. I hit her a little too hard. I didn't mean. I was just trying. I was out of my mind, Aaron. I, yeah. All I could think you is had shit brain. I had shit brain. Shit brain is not your normal. Sh- yeah. Your normal. Normally, brain. you're shit for brains. This is just. Yeah. Shit brain. <laughs> this is. Different. I, they named that after me. Actually, yeah. shit for brains. Um. Now I'm brains for shit. Yeah. Uh. And 
it's bad. And I, I hit her a little too hard. I felt really bad. I didn't actually hit her, hit her, but I just I threw my arm out. Right. Um, I don't think she felt bad for me after that. Right, she felt fair. bad for me at first, uh, but fair. she saw she she saw me in shit brain mode, mm-hmm. um, and I'm like I'm like you go up to, like she's like oh like do you want to like take the key and like go ahead up to the room I'm like no there's no time there's no time I'm going to the lobby lobby this bathroom is this is it Aaron, Aaron I get to this bathroom mm-hmm. the story doesn't end here okay. have you have you been you've been to Chicago no never been so, so something unique about Chicago. Quick Chicago fact for you. Um, in a lot of the public restrooms, they have this little dispenser, this mm-hmm. little plastic dispenser for the toilet seats. Okay. And it covers the toilet seat in plastic. Yeah. And every time you get up, mm-hmm. it does a new roll. So it's high sanitation. Mm-hmm. The problem with me is I just walked, I just like practically ran two miles to get to this bathroom. Mm-hmm. I'm sweating my ass off. Right. Sweat, sweaty ass on top of plastic. Bad. I was falling into that toilet all on the constant. It was, it, I couldn't fit, but it was just like, <laughs> it was like gravity was trying to like <laughs> wedge me in between the toilet seat as much as possible. And I kept going, like, kept trying to fucking get up and like spread my cheeks so that way I could, like had more surface area. <laughs> and, and, and God squeaking, said, no. <laughs> squeaking I was squeaking. All over the place. And by the time I got up, I had stretched the plastic so much. The thing kept trying to like do a new roll. It couldn't fit. It couldn't fit back in the thing. I fucked up that toilet. Some some janitor you ruined a public restroom. <laughs> I did. You single-handedly ruined I a did. public restroom. It was not good. That's crazy. It was not good. I'm so proud of you. Cassie, you once again, hey, I'm listen, very sorry. You didn't poop your pants. I didn't poop my pants. And that's all that matters. You know what, Aaron? Thank you. That is ex- that is all that matters. At the end of the day, if you didn't poop your pants, everyone goes to bed happy. Yep. Well, I well I went I went to bed happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, you I still didn't bed. feel good. I still didn't feel good. Yeah, I'll be honest. I, um, but I went to bed but, happy. But Cassie was done <laughs> caring. <laughs> care. just, just for like just until we got back to the room. Um, but I, I get why. I, that's Cassie once again. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Shit brain. Yeah, panic brain. That's what I shit happens. Brain. I, sh- I, sh- I panic brain. Um, that I have more stories. I'm gonna cap it off there, but that those those are some of the highlights. Perfect. We'll get we'll we'll do some other stories soon, and we'll hear some more about mm-hmm. it. Um, really quickly, uh, this is just something that came into my head. I don't even know if we should talk about it. Really, let's but, do it. Uh, I really wish that we were the jury for the January 6th hearings. <laughs> You're going to have to explain this one to me, Aaron. Because <laughs> these people are so dumb. I haven't been watching it all. What's going on? They're just the worst human beings alive. They're terrible. And I just want to mess with them so bad before we send them <laughs> to jail. Oh, I want to mess with them so bad before we send them to jail. <laughs> just... Oh, you mean the people who are on trial? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I want oh, us yeah. to mess with the people on trial. Yes. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm into that. Because fuck those people. Right. I just want to be sitting there. Like, we, this is what I want our job to be is so normal trial, right? They get convicted, right? And they're like, all right, we have a 15 minute period. Everyone, please take your seat, like, sit down. We come in. Right, and uh, who are, are we on the jury? No, we're just pe- we come in and we question okay. them, but we question them with dumb questions just to make them feel really insecure as people. <laughs> like uh, we saw that you were wearing a thong on January. 6th. <laughs> saw, and we show like a picture of like, him, like someone bent over a little thong, like peeking up. Do you is do you have something to say about that? Where'd you get this from? Where'd you get this from? Do you let me ask you this? Do you think you looked sexy? On January sixth, yeah. How do you think, think you look sexy? I because I don't think so. I don't think you did. Um, let the jury let the jury know that mm-hmm. um, this person is not self aware. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I heard. I like that. I saw. I saw that you were wearing. You you were carrying a pride flag into the January when you were rushing there. But we just like take one of their Blue Lives Matter flags and like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Photo- Photoshop it to the pride <laughs> flag, make them furious. We just basically do anything to make them very uncomfortable and very mad. I think it'd be very funny. <laughs> Does your family know you're gay? <laughs> I think. <laughs> listen, we can we can just tell them right now. 
They're right there. Th- this is a great time. This yeah. is a great. There's no better time than this, the present. There's no judgment here. <laughs> well, there will be a judgment, no, there and will it won't be, a be judgment, good. And it'll be against you, but not for this. But this, not for this. <laughs> um, what? Uh, one thing I'd like to know. Um, <laughs> where were you? Where did? Where were you on January fifth? Mm-hmm. Where were you on January fifth? You don't remember. Mm. You don't remember. You don't remember. Did you remember your wife's? Uh, I would like to. I would like to call this person's wife to the to the stand. Did your husband remember? Uh, remember your your uh, your Val? Do you remember Valentine's Day this year? No. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Did you shit your pants on January sixth? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and we this photoshopped like there's a huge brown stain. Shame. This guy's white ass pants. Say, oh, <laughs> speaking of shit stains, I got a shit stain on my pants. It wasn't actual shit. No, but I was You're at too work. excited about. I this. was at work because <laughs> it was so funny. I was at work and I decided it was the dumbest. I had a I had shit for brains at this moment. It was like the end of the night. I was fucking exhausted. We were closing <laughs> up, and everyone was leaving the bar, and I was coming down the stairs, and I was like. I'm gonna slide down the railing. I slid down the railing. This railing was so fucking gross and dirty. Like, <laughs> it was sticky going down. I was like, oh, this, this didn't feel good. I got up. There was just a giant brown streak oh, down my good. shorts, and I'm wearing oh, khaki hell shorts. Yeah. So oh just, yeah, it was deep brown. <laughs> it was so bad. You turned around and went. Oh. I just want to make a show you. Noise. If someone took, of course, my coworker took a photo. Yeah, you have a picture. I have a yeah, picture yeah, pull that it. shit up. I'm gonna uh, show it to you really quickly. Um, here we go. It's loading. This is my shit. <laughs> that shit. This that is, that is you shit yourself. That boot stain. But let's talk about that calf muscle real quick. That's that's pretty amazing. Aaron, I, I I don't mean to I don't mean to gloat your coat, but that is a nice you know what that is a fucking nice calf right there. You've been working out. Mm-hmm. You've been keeping working. I've just out? been running. Been running and uh, been running yeah. some more. Standing. Uh, by the way, I just thought of probably the best way to embarrass these people How is on the stand How? is just be like, all right, all right, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to prove prove your loyalty to this country. Can you please get up on the stand and sing, the, and, uh, sing our, nation, our nation's national anthem? And depending on how good you sing is going to have a, a big big outcome on how, how well you do at this, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Because if you, and really, if you really cared about this country, you would have a vo- vo- vocal lessons and you would uh, learn how to <laughs> sing it right. Because if you're not going to sing a ride, then why are you even a part of this country? You know what I'm saying? So you got to get up here and got to sing it. And if you don't sing it well, well, jail. Right away. Jail. jail. You go right Pri- Prison <laughs> even. Prison even if we have to. Well, well you, will learn, you will learn to sing in jail. I can you promise learn, you that. I promise you, you will learn to sing in jail. You're not going <laughs> to like it, though. You're not going to like it. They do you have a, like they have a community choir in there, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not uh, Actually, you know what? It is It is a very gorgeous choir. I'm, not gonna, I'm actually not going to lie about that. Choir. It's a beautiful choir, but I don't it think is. you're going to make it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> auditions are on this are on t- the auditions Tuesday. Are, are tough they're cutthroat and i don't think you'll make it <laughs> cut throat, you'll cut your throat literally if you don't so don't do that but you know what if actually after this trial if you wanted to come back to my place i do i actually do private lessons <laughs> i actually do private lessons if they're only 60 dollars for half an hour it turns, <laughs> it turns into an ad <laughs> and it turns into an ad for his <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I think that'd be so I'd funny love to help these you. people are scum of the earth and it'd be so fun to just <laughs> just, just make, make them, them make them so, uncomfortable. Make <laughs> them so uncomfy. Um okay. Uh, I love that. Uh really quickly, uh let's do um and is it weird before we end it here. Okay. So, I saw this one. I have two. Uh Let's do this one. Is it weird that my girlfriend 22 Tucks me into bed every night. Twenty one. Hmm. Is that the whole thing? Mm-hmm. They live. Well, hold on. They've lived together for over a year now. Um, they just had their two year anniversary. Anniversary, and that's about it. Um, I need more details. Hmm. Let me see if I can go in the comments here and see if they responded. Okay. Okay, our schedules are quite the opposite. I wake up for work at 6.30 a.m. She sleeps until about 1 p.m. for her night shift. I always go to sleep first. I need more sleep than the average person anyway, about 10 hours a night, and I always have to be up early in the morning. She slips into bed in the first hours of the morning. Sometimes I'm already asleep before she gets back from work, but most of the time I'm just getting ready for bed as she gets home. I'm not really sure how this came to be in our schedule, but every night 
that I get into bed before she does. She comes to kiss me goodnight and tuck me in. No, I think that's sweet. You think it's sweet? I think it's sweet. Because, okay, otherwise it was it's, it is a little weird. Mm-hmm. I think, like, normally if you both are going to bed and she tucks you in and then gets into bed with you, yeah, it's a little different. But she's not there. Right. She's still, she's still awake. Like, her day is not yeah. done yet. Yeah. She's probably yeah. going to go watch some Netflix. Some ne- <laughs> some Hulu. Some Hulu. <laughs> some Hulu and Netflix. Um, some. But I, I, do think it's, I do think it's nice. Um, I think it's kind of sweet. It's we- it is a little weird. It's but a little strange. Also think it's but, like- but I think that, I think that any long-term relationship, you will just develop weird habits with your, right. like, SO. Right. It, it'll, it just happens. So. It turns into an SOS. Yeah. Uh, Don't want a second guess. This is the final line. It's true. It's true. I can't find my heart's not into and I can't find my other half. That is gorgeous. That's so good. Dude, on the comments, we're, we're going to see. For the Jonas when, are you release, when are you releasing this on Spotify? That's all the comments are going to be. Where's the Jonas Brothers cover? Give it to us. <laughs> we um, want it. What do you think? I th- I think it's um I think it's a little weird. Um mm. I think it'd be the fact that they're like significant others makes it less weird. Um I would love it. Love it if this was just two roommates. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That'd be amazing. They walk in. Hey bud. Let me tuck you in real quick. Tuck- <laughs> I'm going to start talking Max in, I think. <laughs> please, can you do a video? Can you please do a video of you like, <laughs> walking into his room and be like, "Hey man, I'm here to tuck you in." <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> you have to do that. Write that down. That's okay. one of our ideas. That's an idea. Okay, I'll do tuck that. I'll tuck do your that. boys in. Tuck your boys in. That could be that could mean multiple things. Um, I'm in. But I'm into it. Um, well, fuck. I was gonna say something. I, I totally forgot. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it is a little weird. But at the same time, to each their own. To reach Rera. Yep. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. That worked. Um, all righty. Well, that's all that we got for today. Um, like Lucas said, next time you see us, we will have uh, some in-person stuff to show you. So very excited for that. Uh, make sure to follow us on all social media. Like all of our new videos that we've been posting. Uh, comment on them. Share them with your friends. Sharing them helps so much. Just share it. Share it yeah. to your story. Just send it to your friend. They might like it. Um, send it to your family. Send it to your mom. Send it to your dad. They might like. Jesus send it to your too. dog. Una, send it to your dog. Your dog. Make an TikTok. extra account for your dog mm-hmm. and send it to him, please. That'd be great. I would love that. Um, make ten burner accounts. Follow us. Um, but yeah, that's all we got. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>